Hi, year 11, this is Mrs Lowe. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about the ghost of Christmas past in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Uh, so the ghost of Christmas past enters the novella during stave two. Uh, he follows Jacob Marley's ghost and is there to teach Scrooge just as Jacob Marley warned. Uh, he arrives in the form, or she arrives, in the form of a strange figure like a child, yet not so like a child as like an old man, which is aimed at representing Scrooge's younger years as well as what he is now. The ghost says that they are there for Scrooge's welfare, and at this point, even though Scrooge is described as trembling, he doesn't seem to be overly affected by the visit of these supernatural beings. The ghost takes present-day Scrooge to three different visions, and these are what you need to remember. The first is where he sat at school uh, as a young boy and he's been left alone for Christmas, one of the reasons, potentially, why he's not a massive fan. Uh, his younger sister, Fan, arrives, who turns out to be Fred's mother, and she decides that it's time for Scrooge to come home. She tells him that Father is so much kinder now. Another reason why potentially Scrooge behaves the way he does in present day. We then find out that Fan died a woman. <clears throat> the ghost then takes Scrooge to his old boss's party where he sees himself as an apprentice and it's clear that he was treated by Mr Fezziwig with compassion and fairness. Fezziwig's party changes Scrooge's outlook on uh, life and it means that Scrooge at this point in the novella is a happy, carefree young man. We then see a vision of Scrooge with his former fiancée, Belle. It's clear here they've been together a long time, but now that Scrooge has become more wealthy, she tells him that he has changed and that he, is one, he was once another man. He was clearly, and has clearly, let money change him. We then learn that in the present, Belle is now happy and married, potentially another reason why Scrooge is now alone in the present. The stave ends with Scrooge stating to the ghost, haunt me no longer. At this moment, it can be argued that Scrooge is beginning to change and beginning to see the problems that he's caused for himself. The ghost represents Scrooge's younger years. It's wearing a white tunic and flowers, which represents the innocence that should be childhood, but obviously we've learnt that Scrooge's childhood wasn't quite the innocence that it should have been. The ghost begins to make Scrooge see his own flaws and how he should be starting to change.